another good morning South Africa. This is the daily news wrap from the South African Com. It's Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, South Police Officer Derek Chauvin was convicted of murder and manslaughter Tuesday in the death of African-American George Floyd in a case that rolled the United States for almost a year. A racially diverse jury of seven women and five men in the Midwestern city of Minneapolis took less than two days at the end of the three-week trial to find the white official guilty. Chauvin, 45 years old, could be handed decades behind bars for Floyd's murder, who was 25 years old. In other news, video clips uploaded to social media show the dramatic moment of an arson arrest where the suspect was identified by locals and then arrested by the police. The man in handcuffs is believed to have started the devastating Cape Town fires this week. The footage shared by Siraj Evans on Instagram before it distributed to other platforms shows the Mother City resident approaching the alleged arsonist. Watch it on the SouthAfrican.com. Meanwhile, Professor Shabir Madi, one of our most respected scientific voices, has taken us all by surprise earlier this Tuesday when he spoke of the devastating numbers of excess deaths registered in South Africa since March 2020. While addressing a webinar on Tuesday, the professor of vaccinology at the University of the Witwatersrand Rand explained that there may be significant underreporting of virus-related fatalities in South Africa. Our official COVID-19 death toll stands at 53,000, but the number of excess deaths in the same period is higher than 150,000. In our sports, Orlando Paris captain Happy Jele has hailed the CAF Confederation Cup Group A leaders ahead of a match day 5 clash with Algerian visitors ES Setif at the Orlando Stadium on Wednesday. Victory in Soweto will clinch a quarterfinals place for the Bacchanals while the Black Eagles need maximum points to retain their realistic chance of squeezing into the knockout phase. Kickoff is at 1500 hours. Meanwhile, South Africa's eight provincial team have named their final squads for next season's Division 1 domestic campaign, with former Protest Hashim Amla and Vernon Flander coming out to retirement to rejoin Western Province. Amla is currently playing county cricket in England with Surrey. The teams and their positioning in the new domestic cricket structured their finalized early last month. In your weather today, Bloemfontein is a sunny 25 degrees, Cape Town comes at a cloudy 22, Pretoria is still at 23 and Johannesburg remains at 22 degrees as well. And that's all you really need to know from the South African. Subscribe to this and other stories straight to your mobile device every morning. And while you're at it, why not visit the SouthAfrican.com? My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.